Welcome to Valence Developer Diaries number 33. And today uh, we're going to go over a new show section, show previous section that's in behaviors of Nitro App Builder and some options, which is like when shown, when hidden in behaviors. This is new for 6.2. Um, and we're going to demonstrate the old way of show hide and then the new way of show section versus show previous section. And as always, if you have any issues, questions, suggestions, feature requests, please visit our forms and put that in our forms. That would be great. And now Sean's going to drive and go over this new feature. So I'm going to stop sharing and then Sean can share. Okay. All right. So to the best way to, to demonstrate these new behavior actions, um, I think would be for me to show a problem first. And, and, and it's a problem in the, you know, before we had these new actions. Um, there's a way around that problem, but it's just, it's just kind of tedious. And maybe some of you have already experienced this. So I have this application called DD33, and you'll see there are three sections, main, section two, and section three. Um, I can, let me, let me run the application. So if I click a record here, we go to section two. And I hit back, and we go back to the main section, which all makes sense. So I'm going to do it again, and then from here, from the map, I can get into section three. Back goes to section two, back again goes to section main. That all makes sense. But I can also go from section, from the main section directly to section three. Okay. So now when I click back, I don't really want to go back to the to section two. I want to go back to main. Okay. And it's not working that way. So basically that back button from the, from the last section needs some smarts. Did we go back? Like, where did we come from? Did we come from main or from section two? So I'm gonna go into App Builder and I'm going to add what we need to make it work, not using the new um, behavior actions. So the way I can do that, let me just, collapse what I don't need here. And let's just focus on this back button. And because because right now it's just doing a hide show widgets and it's hiding section three and showing section two. I'm going to go into my hide show and I'm also going to show the main section because in some cases I need to do that. And I'm going to save that. Okay. So, you know, for those of you that are, you know, familiar with App Builder, you know, you would know right away that this is going to be a problem as is right now. Let me just run it and, and, and show what it's going to do. So I'm going directly in and I hit back. You know, now we're seeing both sections at once. So that's not what we want. So let me go back into App Builder. And I'm, I'll use features to condition this. So, you know, this is what this is the old way of doing it. So show the main section I'll, I'll give that a feature name of you know back to main and then uh section two i'll give that a feature name of back to section two okay so i'm going to save that and just show now that remember when we create features we automatically get these app variables created for us and this is how we can easily turn on and off features. So I'm going to go back into behaviors. So and just take, you know, one at a time. So when I click from the customer listing, um, this icon column, that's what's taking me directly into section three. I want to set some app variables. Back to main, true. Back to section two, false because I'm coming from main, so I wanna go back to main. So I'm setting these. When that, when that back button on section three runs, it'll only run the main part. So let me save that. 
And then when I'm coming from section two, when I click that marker, I'm going to set app variables back to main. No, I don't want to go back to main. I want to go back to section two. Okay. So that should, that should handle what we need. Let's just try it out. So I'm going to reload and I'm going to go just make sure everything works, you know, back. Good. Now I'm going to go from section two to section three. I click back. It should take me to section two, which is good. Back to main. Now I'll go directly to section three from main, and it should take me right back to main. So that's good. So now let me let me use it. Um, I'm going to recreate this app using the new uh, behavior action. So I'm just going to go into portal admin, and I'm just going to copy this app just so I don't have to recreate it all. I'll copy this and I'll just put um, new after it. Okay. So back to App Builder. Uh, let's get out of here. I'm going to refresh. Let me find my, let me just put my BD33 tag on here. Okay, so let me go into this one now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove, I'm just going to start removing everything actually in behaviors except my filter. Um, I'm going to remove my hide show from my customer listing. I'm going to go to the uh, icon column. I'm going to remove my hide show. I'm going to remove my app variables. Uh, now I'll focus on the customer map. Remove my hide shows, remove my app variables. And I'll also remove my back buttons as well, because one of the advantages here is I can just share one back button. I don't need to attach it to each section. So I'm going to remove the back button from section two. I'm going to remove the back button from section three as well. Um, let me just save, oh no, let me do this. Let me go to, oh, I think that's all I need to do. Now I want to create my new back button. And I'm gonna create my back button at the application level. And the reason I do that is because when we create buttons at the application level, they can show at any section, right? When we create a, a section level button, you can only show it, it'll only show when it's, when you're showing that section. Well, I, I want this shared back button that's gonna show when I'm in section two or section three. So let me just click add button here. Uh, I'm gonna do my standard button, position it to the left and save that. So I'll go, I'll, I'll, I'll attach the action to this in a second here, but let's go to main. And let's deal with the row click. So we're doing the filter of the customer map. I'm going to use this instead of hide show widgets, I'm going to use this new show section. So let's click this. And it shows me the sections. Um, I'm going to want to show section two. But notice by default, we have this save the state of the currently shown section. And what this will do is right before it shows the section, it'll it'll kind of take a snapshot of the application and go, all right, what section am I in? What widgets are being shown you know, within that section? Uh, what buttons are being shown? It'll take a snapshot of, of that. So the next time I, I use the action of show previous section, it'll access that previous state and put us back to it, okay? So I'm gonna click, I want to show section two. Okay. So now my icon column, uh, this is where I want to, I'm going to show section three. Okay. So I'm done there. Now I'll go to the, uh, the map. When they click the marker, I want to show section three. Okay. So now let's deal with the back button. So the back button. All we need to do is show previous section, okay? So, so far so good, I think. Let's just run it and see what happens. 
So DD33 new. Okay, so I'm gonna click here and look at that right away. Let me reload it. Right away, our, our, our uh, back button is showing. I, I don't want that, okay? So let's go back to App Builder. I'm gonna go into behaviors and I'm just gonna click this button and I wanna make it initially hidden. I don't want it shown on the main section. So let's save that and let's try it again and see where we get. Okay, so good, it's, it's, it's not there. Let me click. Now I've got a new problem, right? It's not showing, okay? Well, I want this button shown anytime I'm not in the main section. If I'm not in the main section, show that back button because I always need a way to get back. So I'm gonna go back into behaviors. Let me just collapse what we don't care about. And notice this show section events. So let's just click this. Now I can hide section events, but there are two events for every section. When the section shown, when the section is hidden. In my case, anytime main is hidden, I wanna show this back button, okay? So save, save, and let's run it again. So I'm gonna click. So good, the back button is showing previous section. Okay, let me go in again. Let me go to section three. Back should know to take me to section two. And now back again to the main. And now if I go directly into the third, it should be smart enough to say, go back to main. So, so that's it. So it just, it, it removes some complexity of having to control features and set app variables. And you, you know, have the ability to con consolidate your, you know, your, your back uh, navigation button to just be one button uh, to be the same thing throughout the app. And that one button now, rather than doing a hide show of, of this section or that section, or, you know, it, it's just show previous section. So it just kind of makes things easier to uh, from a behavior standpoint and you know you don't have to think as much about it so that is really uh that's really all sorry, we have for the so, demonstration uh, sorry to interrupt sean uh how many levels back it can go at the back button we set it we set the limit to 10 million oh. <laughs> yeah no it's it's, it's there, there's there's no no real limit no real limit um I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, if you've got an app that has, you know, 30 levels deep, which would be, you know, like, that's a huge app, it, it, it'll be no problem. Yeah, 10 million should be good. <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry? Yeah, 10 million should be good. You know? Yeah, that should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, when you wanted to add something. I wanted to add that with, with this new show section hide sec or show previous section, before you were doing the show hides, then you would see your widgets that you're showing and you could say, load that widget, like reload the data. So here you don't see that. Oh, that's a good and point. And to do that, maybe we just demonstrate that real quick. Yeah. You use the app bar if you need to reload it. That's a good point. So let us let me go to the old application because I'm sure this is something that would come up. Let me just go into the old application. And, you know, suppose anytime, uh, you know, I came... So let's just focus on the back of this customer map, or the, the or, I'm sorry, the section two. And we're doing our hide show widgets. And I always want to reload the data, right, of uh, my customer listing, okay? So we have that capability, right, you know, here. Um, and when we're doing the show previous section, you know, I don't have that luxury of, you know, individually picking the widget and saying, you know, load the data. So I can handle that one of two ways. I can create an app variable, right, to, you know, reload main. And then I can link that app variable to the refresh reload main, and I would just turn that on whenever I wanted it. Let's do that. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll save that. Then easiest way to do this might just be section events. When shown, I'll set my app variable of reload main to true. You know, 
Oh, am I in the old app? Uh, no, I'm in the new app. I'm in the new app. I could do that, you know, or I could do hide show and explicitly show it and reload data. This 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 seems a little sloppy. I would just go with the app variable route, and then you know. So then when 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 I'm sh when when main is reshown, this will run. It'll set that app variable to reload main, which is linked to that widget, and it'll reload the data. I'm almost scared to try it. Let's it should. <laughs> let's. Okay, let's see. Yep, I I don't know if you could tell, but you saw maybe saw maybe if I do this and come back here, we should definitely see it come. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, the new. So would the just refresh utility work instead of using that variable? Yeah, you mean so? Could I do this? Could I go? So forget the whole app variable you're saying, right? And just yeah. do a explicit hide show, you mean? And then say, show it and reload data. Is that what you mean? You know, maybe, uh, yeah, even this, if this works, then I think that also the, the utility thing. Uh, no, because the utility can only be acted against a uh, widget. Like, so it would only be, that refresh would only be available when you're acting against a widget, like in... Uh, you know, okay. in this case, utility, then I should see the refresh. Oh, I should. Okay. Oh, it's because I need against it. Yeah, we, we hide it. Yeah, clicking clicking a row yeah. automatically refreshing doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. You know, maybe yeah. if, I had a, if I had a button, if I had a button, let's say, so I'll just put a button. What if you put it on the button? The there back button. Uh, I, you know, you, you, I could, I could put it on the back button as well. But the problem is, not the problem, but you'd be refreshing on each previous. Right. I'm, I'm refreshing when I go from section three to section two. I'm refreshing main. You know, which wouldn't, you know, I might not want to do. But yeah, you could, you could put it there as well. Once you're, you know, once you're adding the behaviors, whether you're using section events or, you know, this shared button, it's, it's all, all the same rules apply at that point. So yeah, that would, that would work as well. But then we would be refreshing anytime we click back. So when we go back from section three to section two, I might not want main to reload until main is shown again. Yeah. So at the beginning of this discussion, you said you had two ways around that refresh, and you've shown us one. What was your second approach? Is that show hide? Um, my approach, well, so I, I said the two ways are my approach would be the app variable, or I could explicitly do a hide show, you know, to access this and, and, and do that, which I wouldn't do that way because it just feels sloppy. We're already showing the widget via the show section or show previous section. I would, you know, we're, we're, we we always encourage at this point to use app variables when you can. That's the preferred way going forward. Okay, cool. Thank you. Sure. All right. Yeah, I mean, I just, it just makes this new, these new features make it so much easier when you have an app that's many more sections just than just two yeah I when, mean, it makes it super easy yeah when you have an app that just has two sections you know you're not really seeing the benefit of this you're seeing the benefit when you can jump from you know one to section three three to five you know two to right two to four you know it's it's when you can skip things and it's not just a natural flow of one to two to three and three to two to one that makes sense all right any questions? Do you ever go back and retool apps you've previously done with new with new features like this? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't. I personally, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, and unless you know, unless you're having, yeah, unless unless you're having issues with it, and you know, like like I said, most most people most people probably have apps that follow a natural order of one to two to three or you know and then backwards in the same order um but you know i i, 
I don't know. I mean, personally, if your app's already working, you know, unless you're going back into it, maybe to update some things, you know, then at that point, maybe I'd say, oh, I might as well change it, but I wouldn't just explicitly go into just to change, just to change this personally. <clears throat> we have a question. How to highlight a row on the grid after you reload the page? Uh, let's see. So, yeah. So someone asked how you can highlight a row and I'm just going to go to link and see, I don't, I don't know if we have yeah. something like that. Focus row. So yeah, well, we do have the focus row, which would be the number, the row number, or we have focus row via RRN. So here I can, I can show that. Um, so let me, let me do, I'll just do the number, right? I should be able to do like. Do the number, just make it yeah. easier, I guess. So. I'm going to go to app variables and I'm just going to create an app variable called uh, focus row on main. Okay. And I will uh, click back and I'm going to go to link general focus row. So this will just give me a a row number. So basically, you know, let's say I have a hundred records in my grid, you know, I'm going to say, uh, you know, this would be one, two, three, four. I'm going to do something. So hopefully we see it scroll down. So I'll do like row 20 or something. So when, uh, when shown, I'm going to set up variables. And I'll say, uh, I don't know, 25. Let's see. Hopefully it's smart enough in tandem with the reload. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Okay, so I'll hit back. Okay, so you saw it went down here. So it did It did highlight it. In, 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 in the real world, you probably want to use the RRN because you don't know. Um, so you yeah. might have like an RPG call that's on, you know, before you want to do the load of your, of your widget to determine, I guess, whatever logic or business logic you want to say which row you want to focus yeah so you could also as johnny's mentioning i could also reference an a relative record number if i needed to do that as well okay all right uh, unless there are any other questions i think uh that's all we have for today all right okay thank you everybody thanks for uh jumping on Talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.